Hey, hey, my internet troopers, my name is Playo Game, and welcome to a Marvel Legends review. Here we have Iron Man from Heroes Return, which I never actually heard of. So, uh, um, I got this at Disneyland. So, on my last day there, uh, my parents told me that I need to spend my gift cards. Like, I need to spend it now since it was the last day. Uh, otherwise, I was going to be stuck with it. So, I went to the Marvel's gift shop. I saw this, and I was like, wait, actually, you know what? I have a Captain America Marvel Legends figure. I might as well just get an Iron Man, you know? I mean, uh, that'd be cool. So, this is Iron Man. So, uh, yeah, this is like a, uh, a classic comic Iron Man. So, I've never actually heard of the uh, Heroes Return comic series, but it sounds pretty interesting. I mean, just by looking at this guy, I mean, yeah. I mean, so, uh, this is actually from something called uh, Build a Figure, to the uh, Totally Awesome Hulk. Yeah, so you just need uh, Captain Marvel, Marvel's Fon that Photon, Miss Marvel, Marvel Boy, Marvel's Karnak, and Commander Rogers. Nice. Okay. On the back here, it shows what he comes with. He looks like he's got two little uh, uh, last effects, that's what I'm going to call them, and two little fists to replace his hands with. And this actually looks really nice. I mean, this is uh, something uh, related to uh, the classic version, the, the like, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say 60s because I don't know what else. Yeah, 60s Iron Man. I mean, this is actually what the Mark 85 was based off of, you know, the comic accurate uh, uh, Iron Man suit, you know, because uh, the that this doesn't look like Iron Man. It looks like it's just uh, his actual muscles, but painted gold, you know? That's that's kind of what they were going for here. All right, so let's open this up. Let me just uh, grab my Mighty Bar, which has multiple purposes. So I'm just gonna, uh, okay, hold on a second. So I just repositioned my light and this can be used as like some kind of exacto knife. Nice. See that? It worked perfectly. So let me just, oh no, I ruined the, ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Let me just, uh, yeah, it doesn't, oh, yeah, here we go. Uh oh, oh, just more take down here. There we go. Okay. Now for the reveal. Oh, wow. That's, uh, <laughs> okay. That, that's actually kind of cool how they did the packaging here. Nice. Oh, that's that's really cool. I like that. So I'm guessing these are the hands and the blasters. Yeah, let me just put out about them. Come on. There's the hands. Ooh, nice. Oh, these are cool. Oh, I really like this. I think this cost me like $15 at Disneyland. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Is that side now for the reveal here he is. oh my god his hand is twisted backwards oh that looks kind of terrible there we go much better oh they set him in that flying position oh nice that's how they packaged him that's cool okay this i am really really liking this uh i i love everything about this like uh, all the detail they added into this this is really amazing i mean I mean, he's got a little something on the back there. I mean, I do like the uh, the shoulder, whatever those things are that you see in most of his Iron Man suits. The, the hands, they look amazing. The arms and uh, the legs, you know, like I said, it looks like it's just his actual muscles just painted gold. Uh, the little arc reactor, I do like that. I like that a lot. I don't know what these things are on the sides there, but um, so if I remember in the first Iron Man movie, there was like some kind of flares or something. Uh, looks like we got some shin guards there, knee cap guards. Nah, I do like the feet. And the mask, the head, I really, really am digging the, the head. I mean, just by looking at this, hold on. Let me get this guy off the presenter. Really like this this model here. I mean, like uh, these little two things here that are just sticking out. So yeah, uh, like most Marvel Legends figures, they are very posable. Like you can, just, you can just put them in any position you want, you know? Just gotta, ooh, yeah, like that, ooh, ooh, nice, nice, okay, yeah. All right, so uh, this is where the, uh, Last effects go. We'll just stick those in the, oh, perfect fit. Nice. Okay. So yeah, you can just make it seem like he's uh, shooting, uh, so he's just shooting at something, or you can just put him in the uh, the flight uh, position. Position, that's what I meant to say. Just make him look up. Oh, I decapitated him. All right, I guess I gotta be careful with the, oh, okay, here's the pro, oh yeah. Yeah, that, that part's in the way, so I can't make him look up all the way, but I can still make him fly, you know, just gotta, yep, put him in that position, and boom, he's flying. Oh, hold on. I'm just gotta, hmm. Okay, this is kind of difficult, put him in the flying position. I guess these are just to make him look like he's about to battle. 
Yeah, so you can move the waist. Yep, move that up. Nice, really like this. All right, so let me just put him in a position with Captain America here. So as you can see, I got him in a little fight position with Captain America, which is supposed to represent the Civil War. So I actually just found out that you can put these little uh, blast uh, things on the, on his feet as well. There's like little holes there. Also, I replaced uh, one of his hands with a little fist just to see what it looks like. So uh, yeah, it uh, looks pretty good so far. Uh, as you can see, I got him on this little uh, figure posing stand, actually, that I reviewed in a YouTube short once. Uh, that must have been weeks ago. So yeah, he this this actually looks really good. I'm actually really excited to uh, set this up in my room somewhere. Actually, you know what? I think I might do one of those uh, shorts where you just you know like you put those figures in uh, different positions. You know, and like you're, you're just fine. It's like one of those cinematic shots. Uh, who, whoever makes these kind of videos here, I think that's what I might do. So that is all I got for this video. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Oh, wow, I messed it up. I usually don't mess up my outro like that. Have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Keep going, gotta stay on track Sometimes it hurts, sometimes I get